All right, so we're just, I just thought I'd quickly take you through a technical bit of um, scenario. So we've just finished putting this system in, we're in the process of commissioning it. Um, the van came with um, a battery management system in the overhead cupboard, which is a BM Pro system. Um, we've decided in this particular build to utilize that for 240 volt charging because this van is pretty much never going to be plugged into mains. So it doesn't really matter from the perspective of, you know, having a 240 volt charger because they're basically never going to use it. So the BM Pro has stayed. Um, what we do, however, is we always talk about um, why you don't have a battery management system that does charging in an overhead cupboard and your battery's down in the chassis or down underneath the seat. The main reason is, is voltage drop in cabling. So at this point in time, there's probably four meters or five meters of cabling to the battery box and even further again to the, where we've put the new battery. So the existing batteries in this caravan were on the chassis, chassis outside. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and the new battery is in the um, seat box area. Okay. So, what we've done just to get battery charged is we plug the mains in, we're doing all of our testing, functional testing of the 240 volt, which includes the battery charger to make sure the system is all working and compliant. But at the same time, what we've got the ability to do is to monitor through Cymarine as well as the BM Pro uh, tablet Trek 3 screen, we can actually monitor voltage at two points. So when we set Cymarine up, we voltage monitor at the battery. So it's literally measuring voltage at the terminals of the battery. So it's telling us exactly how much voltage is at the terminals. Whereas something like this unit up here measures its voltage on the output terminals of the unit itself. And it has to do that because it's got no ability to measure voltage down on the battery unless there was a shunt. These systems do have shunts. This system won't have a shunt so it doesn't have that capability. So the issue that you see there is very specific. At the moment, the battery is measuring 13.47 volts. You can see that on Cymarine, 13.47 volts. If we go over to the Trek screen, the BM Pro, we can see Voltage is measuring 14.7. So that's 1.2 volts higher than at two different locations, basically. So 14.2 or 14.7 at the terminals of the BM Pro and 13.46 down at the battery. Now, that's a problem because what can happen is if this system didn't have any other chargers or any other way of charging this battery. This battery charger would cut out because it would think the battery's full sooner than the battery was actually full because there's a because of all the things we talked about with voltage drop. So when we design systems up, we always make sure that all of our chargers are as close to the battery as possible. Even if the system that we're using has the ability to um, communicate with one another, like a Victron system, for example. You can program those things to um, measure voltage from another source, another charger or, or a shunt. Uh, however, if that communication breaks down, then you're still stuck with the issue that you've got here. So getting the battery chargers as close to the battery as you can possibly get them reduces the amount of volt drop, make sure that your batteries are charged and charging properly to their right voltage, and then ensures that you get your full capacity out of your battery. Any questions on that guys, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Cheers.